This is Dixie Crow reporting for Colorado State University and the LivestockLounge.com. Today we're going to take a brief tour of Colorado State's campus and take a look back at our agricultural beginnings when we were Colorado Agricultural College and later Colorado A&M. We'll see where some of your favorite buildings on campus used to be open spaces, farmland, and the buildings that house the livestock. Behind me you see our Ardex station. Here we house our cattle, sheep, and swine, and soil and crop sciences. I hope you'll join me on today's tour. Standing on University Avenue, many students will recognize Shepherdson Hall. This is the home of agricultural sciences. With plant sciences to the west, beyond that is Clark, the Morgan Library, and we're looking at the foothills. Standing on the backside of Shepherdson Hall, looking across Montfort Quad, we see today's Animal Sciences Building. The Clark Building to the southwest, and Plant Sciences from the back to our right. This general area from the 1900s to the 1950s was the location of our original livestock judging pavilion, our dairy, swine, sheep, and beef cattle units, as well as the horse barns. Most of our pens and buildings were clustered in this general area, which also included Morgan Library. In fact, many students may be surprised to know the hog pens went down as far as what is now the parking lot for Morgan Library. Our current livestock judging pavilion is now located on Pitkin Street. Many students pass this building on their way into campus. Our current livestock judging pavilion was built in the late 1950s. It is still used by students today, and one of the unique features you may have noticed when you walked by was the tombstone out front commemorating Mama, one of the dairy cows who was a high producer. During the 1990s, our sheep, cattle, and swine were moved out to the Ardeck facility. Our Foothills campus holds the Equine Center, the Equine Reproduction Laboratory, and the Agricultural Research Center, known as Arbel. While the main campus may no longer hold the animals that it used to, CSU still has a rich agricultural legacy and students who participate in animal sciences, equine sciences, and crop sciences know the value of our off-campus facilities. I hope you've enjoyed your tour today of our agricultural history and our legacy. This has been Dixie Crow, reporting for Colorado State University and thelivestocklounge.com.